Hey everyone, Brian here, Hodges1455, coming at you with another video. In today's video, I have three eBay pickups from this year I want to get shared and put away in the collection. And this first one is an autographed baseball of Enos Country Slaughter. And this one really jumped out at me. It looked really bright and vibrant. It's all in this protected shrink wrap. And it's even got an inscription on it, Hall of Fame 85. And the reason why this popped up is that it had a PSA DNA on it, which I checked out before I, I bid. And uh, really glad that I was able to stumble upon that. About a month ago, my wife came down with flu A, and we thought we were in the clear because she was recovered and good to go. And then I ended up getting it um, about three weeks ago. So I was home, and what do I like to do when I'm down, out of commission, just recovering? But pull up eBay <laughs> and search PSA and ending soonest to see if I could get a good deal in the morning. Because sometimes you can catch auctions ending in the morning and get some great deals. But I didn't come up with any cards that jumped out at me that I really wanted to add. Uh, but this baseball jumped out at me, and I hadn't picked up an autographed baseball in 20 years uh, since I was in high school. So I've only ever bought two autographed baseballs in, in my life, this being the, the third one now. But I saw that, and I, I don't have really hardly anything of Enos Slaughter in the collection, um, cards or otherwise, so this really jumped out at me, and he was just such a great player. Uh, I believe he had a career batting average of 300, and he made the Hall of Fame uh, without a doubt. He had just such an amazing career, all while missing three years in his prime, his age 27 through 29 seasons. So those three seasons, age 27, 28, and 29, he missed in his prime, and he still made the Hall of Fame, which is really, really cool. Such a great player. Super happy to add an autograph of Enos Slaughter to the collection. And then I was also able to pick up two 1954 Bowman cards of Hall of Famers to add to the collection. And this first one here is a red Shane Deanst. I mean, just look at this card. It looks packed fresh. I couldn't find anything wrong with it on the pictures other than being a little off-center. But it's hard to... Get a good look at it in the, there we go. But really great sharp back. And the front just looked amazing. The colors on it. Uh, love this picture of, of red as well. The, the birds on the bat and you can see it really good. You can see his face really good. Um, but really what jumped out at, at me was when I got the cards in hand, I was even more impressed with the condition of them. Um, I could see the original gloss on the, on the fronts just looked so pack fresh and cool and red Shane Deans was a great second baseman uh, well obviously clearly a Hall of Famer so really happy to add a nice card of red to the collection and that brings me to the last card of Hall of Famer Robin Roberts this 1954 Bowman must have been out of the same pack or something I mean it, it has the same off-center, top to bottom, but otherwise, I mean, the original gloss, the picture on it looks fantastic. Loved the shot of his jersey in this. Just jumps out at you. This looks so cool. It's really hard to kind of see good, but um, the colors on this look vibrant and great. Here's what the back looks like. Also, just really sharp. Sharp looking card. Super happy to add a really nice copy of a Robin Roberts to my collection. I, I've been wanting to get some of his cards. And really happy to add a nice one to represent him in my collection as well. He was one of the, the great aces of the 1950s. So hey everyone, thanks so much for watching and enjoy the hobby.